Welcome, aftermarket pros, to For the Record. Now, listen to a slice of wisdom, a concept, a sentiment, and maybe even a rant from one of your industry colleagues. For the Record. Hello, friend. Welcome, Carm Capriato here for The Record 85 with some straight-up talk on build hours. Bob Greenwood says productivity, not activity, creates net profit. Now, just a moment to ask, have you been thinking about integrating digital vehicle inspections in your shop? Did you know that your competition's having the same thought and may already be implementing it? Well, look, change can be a challenge, no doubt, but it doesn't have to be painful. FlexCheck Auto DVI software is designed to conform to your shop's philosophy. It's not only customizable to your shop's needs, but it's easy to use. Now, FlexCheck Auto guides the technician through the inspection process one step at a time. And with the ability to take and send pictures and videos, your customer sees any vehicle issues with their own eyes, including them in the repair process and boosting confidence in your shop. Now, this creates a consistent process, which in turn leads to higher average repair orders and increased customer satisfaction. Who wouldn't want that? DVI is revolutionizing the auto industry. We know that. So don't get left behind. Get your free 30-day trial today at FlexCheckAuto.com. Hey, do you have all three aftermarket premiere podcasts subscribed on your phone? And if not, you're going to need to do it. Go to remarkableresults.biz slash listen and get the link to each show. You can do this from your smartphone and get quickly linked up to one of your favorite listening apps. Appreciate that. Hey, Bob Greenwood is here laying out the reason formula for average build hours per repair order. Every chance Bob gets, he's talking about this measure. So I asked him to take a few minutes to explain its value and how to calculate it. Our goal is to help every aftermarket service professional discover great leadership and management direction so that they can best understand what areas of improvement they need to excel in. Remember, you don't have a job, but a business and a career. Paying attention to financial or ratio attributes helps you understand where you're coming from and where you're going. Business can be tough, so don't ever shy away from the numbers. Find the show notes and the details from this episode and Bob's formulas at remarkableresults.biz slash F085. The views and opinions expressed are those of my guest and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the author, sponsors, associates, or affiliates of LSTN Media LLC. Hey, what's your average build hours per RO? Hi, I'm Bob Greenwood, President and CEO of Automotive Aftermarket E-Learning Center Limited. For the record, what business are we in today? And I would like to talk to the people who own the two, three, four, and five base shops. Where are you going? What should you be measuring? It's time we understood that we are in a knowledge-based business today. We're being hired by a customer, by a client, to ensure their vehicle is safe, reliable, and efficient, to save them money and making sure it never breaks down. That means being in a knowledge-based business, it's not your sales that count, it's your build hours that count. That's a productivity measurement versus sales being an activity measurement. You make net profit by being productive and we've got to focus in the productivity level of the shop. Now, if you look at an average consumer vehicle based on manufacturer's recommendation, we should be averaging 2.5 build hours per RO. Industry seems to be coming in between 1.4 and 1.7. What are your build hours per RO averaging? What is the mix of business you've got? If you're a three-bay shop and you got a little bit of local commercial business, cube vans, one ton, the odd bus or whatever, maybe your average should be three hours per RO overall. It's the average hours that will build your net profit. But you've got to start by calculating where am I at right now? So what you do is you take your total labor revenue you billed last year, divide it by your labor rate. That gives you the number of billed hours that you sold. You then take your ROs and divide it by that number. See how many billed hours per RO you've got. What is your average? You've got to have a starting point. And slow down and start thinking about your internal processes to improve build hours. Do we counsel our clientele for safety, reliability, and efficiency? Do we follow the manufacturer intervals and recommend them to the client? Are we still in the old aftermarket, 
selling these packages, seasonal packages, my spring special, my fall special and all. Tailor it right to the individual client. Because you may have a client that goes down south during the wintertime and goes in January and they're down there for four or five months. Well, we better make sure that their air conditioning is checked in December, making sure it's okay and everything is good for them. That kind of thinking is important because now you're thinking about the individual client. Your build hours creates net profit. Productivity creates net profit. Activity just keeps you busy. You don't want to be busy. You want to be steady because when you're steady, you're under control. Focus in on your build hours for a year and watch your bottom line grow like you've never seen it before. And if you have any problems, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. I'll be happy to talk to you. I'm Bob Greenwood, and that's for the record.